Hello and good day everyone, my name is Sebastian and you are watching The Novice Prospect. Welcome back to episode 12 of Space Engineers. And we have a few things to do. Um, so yeah, welcome first to everyone in chat. I'm gonna just, just try and get straight to it. Um, if we remember from last time, we tried and build a miner-ish. Uh, now I had a chat with you know my guys on Discord uh, over the weekend, and, and well, we've we've considered a few um, options like Buckley has even built something. Um, I've decided to sort of stick with the design, <clears throat> but we're gonna show off something new today. Because what we'd like to do is um, basically unpower this guy and just let build and repair grab it, because we're gonna rebuild it. <clears throat> and have a blueprint. So let, let me show off the blueprint that we have. And it's called the Ugly Duckling, right? Um, yeah, uh, I'm not gonna, I can't do that because it's, uh, we're not in creative at the moment. Oh, that should not even work. No, uh, I was gonna say that, right? So what we're gonna need, what I would really like to do, we have a built and repair and I would like the miner to be built from scratch okay we will need something called a projector we'll start with that okay and so what a projector allows us to do and let me just go and grab it if i have it yes there it is right and oh my goodness that's a big block okay but that's fine um does it it, it has different sides i'm sure I'm trying to no okay it's a sort of universal it doesn't really matter which way you place it i think but we're gonna place it sort of that away, right? And let built and repair do the thing. I don't know if I want to. Stop! Just stop for a moment, please. I I I, I want you to not do that. Just because. Of, oh, okay. Too late. I think. Yeah, pretty much. Okay. I don't know if we needed this for progression or not. Well, too late. Um, well, actually, no, leave it turned off for now because we need to go and do something first, right? So we, we have a projector now. And the way this works, when you're not doing creative stuff, you can talk to the projector and we're going to do it from here. <clears throat> and we're going to say, where is it? Da, 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 there's a projector, right? And all we're going to need to do realistically is we grab the blueprint. Right, just make sure this yeah for now we're going to go and grab the blueprint off the ugly duckling and i think we'll just double click it right incorrect grid size blueprint size must match that of the projector oh okay 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 learned something new can't do that so the ship i'm building is small grid so we need to have a projector as small grid now i am not entirely sure if I can just place it like I don't think that would be attached I think I'm gonna have to do like a rotor thing like a I think hinges can do it too I, uh, <clears throat> there's a there's there's a few blocks basically that you can use to go from large grid to small grid and like the one I know of is definitely a rotor because we've used it for our gravel uh, ejector Right, um, let me just quickly remind you, uh, for those that may have missed it in the previous episodes, we have back here, we have a gravel ejector that's sitting on a ro uh, rotor, big, large uh, large grid. What you do is you take off the head and then you tell the rotor to attach a small head. And then you just have your small grid there. And you, we can do the same out here. And basically place a small projector down. Now, I'm sure something tells me. Hang on, I want to try it out just because. I will also like a hinge, right? Um, and I think the way that works is you place the thing and then you detach the hinge part. Build the hinge. Right, and I think we can just say attach a small head. I 
think that's all that takes. Oh, wrong button yet again. I think from... Yeah, yeah, it's already done because uh, I've seen the results otherwise. <laughs> um, thank you, Tarsis. Um, I was just making sure chat was turning up in my stream, uh, in my stream window. So now we should be able to, yes, see it's it's nicely snapped in there. Um, do we need anything on top of that? Realistically, no. Because the, well, the parts are going to come from build and repair to sort of connect it inside the base, right? So we can just plunk that in. Okay. Yeah, I know there's, um, there is about 30 seconds or so delay between me streaming and you seeing things. Um, that's sort of built in by YouTube streaming. Um, but okay, so we have a small projector now, and I, I would imagine that, yeah, there's a projector. We can just go and grab that blueprint now and say, hey, there's the ugly duckling. Only the... What What do you mean multiple grits? Ah, okay. We will not have our landing feet, but eh, not really to worry about that, okay? But so we have the blueprint button. You can, you can see it's sort of now just plonked down somewhere. And is that the... This is the completely wrong blueprint. This is the wrong blueprint for sure. No, 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 no. Did I do a thing there? I probably did too. Uh, projector. Remove blueprints. Yeah, the ugly duckling. What do you mean multiple grids? There, there is no multiple grids. Did I do a... Let me... I have a feeling about this so if I was I know I, I can't do it but what on earth this is a this is entirely wrong all of it this doesn't even look like mine to be honest it looks too organized Projector. <clears throat> no, 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 this should be a part of that blueprint. Yes. <clears throat> oh, I think I know what I've done. I think I know what I've done. I think so. I will have to go and, and do a thing. We're going to have to go and jump out of the game for a second. Um, I think the ugly duckling was connected to the base. And it sort of took a blueprint of the whole thing. Like, it's sort of the, the, the minor and the base has been... So, and over the weekend, well, it was on Friday night, really, um, I've worked on this a little bit with the guys on Discord, and... Um, I've started with the same blueprint, or not blueprint, but the, with the same sort of base layout that we had sitting in our actual world. Uh, just made a copy of the world, made it creative, and then started building stuff. But I am sure the actual problem here is literally related to the fact that the ugly duckling was connected to the large grid, so it sort of took all all the connected grids as one big blueprint. No, uh, we don't want that. Uh, 
I do apologize for the sort of slight detour we have to make here. And see, it pays to actually try and test blueprints before you use them on a stream. <laughs> uh... Oh, that's true though. Science never solves a problem without creating 10 more. Sort of the, the, the basic tenet of science, really. So every, every answer sort of leads to more questions. So, this is the guy. We're just going to have to... Um, turn the grid on, bring it up, bring it down, and just come along. And what I would like to do, because we know we can pretty much keep it safe, um, and I can just slowly bring it down. And then what you really want to do before you lock in, right, so once you think you've got sort of Ground, you turn your dampness off, let your ship just fall and then lock it in, and then we can see we're going to turn the whole grid off. Okay, but something smoking out. Oh, hello, assert. Yeah, so we discovered assert in our sandbox. <laughs> hello, guys. Um, I shall just quietly try and ignore the goings-ons there. Um, yeah, that can get deleted as well, by the way. Yes. And then I can now go and make a blueprint from this. Um, and yeah, no, this is actually fine, right? So there's the aqua duckling. Um, I will republish that too. Like, this is actually on the workshop and I, well, actually, let's do it. Might as well. F10. So what you do <clears throat> you click on the ugly duckling in my case, you say publish, and then you can see where you want to upload it to. Um, I personally just leave it on the workshop and say this is a ship, and you say, you know, whatever type of grid you've obviously built there, and say OK, and that is it. And then because the blueprint's named the same, um, I should see an updated version of, it, of of the blueprint showing up on my workshop. Um, so we can do this. Right, where it basically brings up the steam overlay. Um, and this part you're not going to see, so I'm not even going to go further into that. But essentially it gives you a window where you can set, like... Uh, your, your visibility, you can set a better description, things like that. But we're quite happy, right? We're, we're all, all we wanted is just have the blueprint. And yeah, might as well. And now we're going to go back into our actual save game. Now, I mean, this is really the essential point here, right? The, the, the ship itself may have been built in creative. In, in, a, in a sandbox world but when we're putting it into our world that we're actually doing the stream on what's well, going to be built from resources you know and this is what we're doing with the projector where we're gonna have the blueprint sitting in the projector and the projector is gonna have a, the, this blueprint in a certain position and then we're just gonna tell build and repair hey go for that right and then we can just turn the project projector off once the build is done and then whenever we trash the ship, and this is sort of why I wanted to do this, because I have a feeling I will trash this guy once or twice. And yeah, I think I'm going to just end up putting it into a grinding pit, which will be built. We'll start building maybe this episode, um, if not very uh, at the very least at uh, the next episode. So uh, we remember this little space here, and then I'm going to have something where I can just drop ships into, and they're going to get ground up for their resources, and he's going to be one of the victims, right? Um, all good. So let's talk about that blueprint yet again. Connect. Uh, there's the projector. There's blueprints. The ugly duckling, please. If I do that, multiple grids are not supported. No, ah, oh, fuck. Goodness sakes, I'm, I'm sure we had that turned off.
No, it's not. Which built repair is it? Oh, I know who it is. Uh, you are turned on. And I think I've done a big... Oh, no, 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 no. Here we go. Got myself locked in. We have... So... You know, sit down. G. Turn that off. No. Take that all away completely. Remove from toolbar. It should be in a group. Right, and then we're going to say toggle lock on off, and then now we're just going to have to find that build and repair. Uh, one of them is on, one's off, so go and turn off. Boom. Right, now they're all off. So Tarsus was absolutely right for me to check my build and repairs, and I actually honestly forgot that I had built a second one. So now we have a slight problem because we've now got blocks here that shouldn't even be a thing. So let's go and... else did you build here? That would build anything else, like it should just be... Oh, good grief. Yeah, okay, I can see it. There's a giant all. Anything else? Nothing that I can see. I just built something inside the Africans, or inside the voxels, but... Uh, nothing we can do about that. And what I would like to do here is, just because we've got a control seat inside for now, which is fine. Um, excuse me, uh, they get a cockpit block. Uh, just, just a little control station will do me, right? And then we're gonna go and grab the materials. Now six computer. We can't withdraw six computers, really. Okay, we'll tell you how to make them. Um. Build this guy up. Oh, helps with point at the thing, you know. And then, yeah, we're gonna... Three computers, is that, all, is that all you're missing? That's actually not too bad. Uh, yeah, okay. So... I have a feeling... That... Yeah. <laughs> Uh, we, we're gonna have to do <clears throat> one more run. Yeah, we're gonna have to, we'll have to go and have to do a, a, another run. Oh, I forgot about my sensor setup from last time. You guys remember this awesome stuff? Uh, daylight, don't need that. Get in here. Lock. Just come forward a bit. Yeah. Ah, oh, for goodness sakes, here we go again with this. You? Go on, no, we're, we're going to do this outside. I'm sure we can get away with that. Oh, oh wait. Like so, bring it up. Oh, I do have a feeling we've lost enough. Oh. This setup is really starting to frustrate me because I always seem to be ripping off a leg. Like I need it actually. The components for this. So, uh, no, that's fine. If I empty the build plan of everything else for now, grab that stuff. I, I would like to have. All wheels attacked. I think that would be a nice thing to do. But yeah, okay, and then... It's, it's like it's... Losing the whole plate. I don't get that. Um... No, that's a gyro, that's not what I wanted. Where is... Piston. Add a piston head. See what I mean? It, it's the whole head came off. It's completely weird. Yeah, 
Yeah, I know. Iron again, Tarsus. Yeah, you're absolutely right. That's exactly what we're going to have to do. Piston. <laughs> and then a piston head. Always with the wrong button, me. And then I don't know if I'm going to get my legs. But I'm starting to regret this design. I'll be honest. Like, I love how it looks. But it... No, wrong. No, wrong entirely. Zero. Okay. Um, we're gonna just ignore that. Okay. Iron. Sort it. Uh, yeah, so I think the, the plan for today is, is pretty straightforward. I have another blueprint that would also get started building very, uh, would start to get built very, very soon because it's going to be part of our defense. <clears throat> so um, I'm going to try basically get the ship started um, and then maybe implement one of my so far mentioned blueprint, you know, the, the, the one I was just talking about there. Um, and then maybe at the end, you know, sort of end the, the stream on a bit of design for the grinder pit. Let, let's see how far we can get. Um, but there's, there's a few things really that need overhauled on this rover too, and I'm, I'm still not sure if I want to just retrofit it or completely overhaul it. But that's for another time. Right now, Sebastian is an idiot. But, no, well, uh, maybe. We can certainly do this. Gives us more space for actual resources. Ow. What's that again? Oh, look. Someone left a few stones and iron lying about. Who would, it, who would that have been? Me? Possibly? Ah, never. Okay. Eh. Try and kill myself. Well, what is with the lag spikes today? I do apologize for that. Um, so I just fill up the rover as much as I can and then fill up my own inventory. On top of that, should give us hopefully enough to start the build anyways. Um, can't believe I had that build repair thing mucked up. That was a... Uh, yeah, that was a... Uh, that was a typical me. <laughs> oh, more space. Good, good. But, so basically what Tarsus and me were talking about, and just to sort of get to that blueprint I was talking about, might as well talk about it now. Um, we were talking of a sort of, well let's call it early warning system, right? And so the, the idea is to have something that will start shooting a little bit further away from base, you know, as the enemies approach. Um, but we're going to have another block on there that I've not shown yet, and that we've also got a special version of because of a mod. Um, and it's called the decoy. Now, the decoy is essentially a block that will sort of force the AI to aim at the decoy block rather than at your actual base block. Uh, or, you know, base blocks. So, and we're gonna start using them, and I've made a little design. Yeah. <laughs> um. You know, I've made a little design that I can sort of spawn into the world, um, and then, yeah, I would like to one fairly quickly attached to the base, 
so we can have that in place. Um, but then further along the lines, I, I would like it to be sort of deployed in all four cardinal directions, as it were, in the 2D space. Yeah, yeah, I know. Okay, we're going to be full now, and we're going to leave a nice line there. Um, but yes, but I don't want to have it all hand built. Um, so again, that's why I've already blueprinted it. I want to be able to sort of have maybe a little welder ship. You know, it's not something we've looked at yet. You know, an actual welder block. There's a whole ton of block we've not looked at. A uh, ton of blocks that we've not looked at yet. And it can really make our lives easier. And I think now that we're a little bit under pressure that, you know, I know within the next, say, hour and a half, a cert is going to start turning up. Um, so we, we know that from the sandbox. <laughs> um, you know, and I would like to be able to push certain buildings out fairly fast and, and be able to do certain repairs fairly quickly. So, and, and one of those things is going to be this, yeah, this, this, this blueprint of what I would call a decoy tower at the moment. And it's literally that, there's a decoy sort of a little bit further away, there's a gatling on top, um, and it's got hard armor blocks, or you what you call it, heavy armor blocks sort of surrounding at the core of that. Yeah, we're going to try and implement that today as well, but, you know, one thing I have left, I've got many projects upon the plant. <laughs> but first, as usual, more iron, always more iron. Oh, come back. Then we've got the camera set up, and then now remember as well that last time we've we had set up the mag magnets on the connectors to be not so pulley, so we can just gently rock towards our destination and lock ourselves in. The minute we do that, you know, the minute we're literally right back at the connector. I love that. And then we can feed that in there. I don't need to hold the drill anymore. And then comes the next where I would like now to go and finish this. So let's see if we can find us a few computers. Oh, right, okay. Because I forgot to left click the thing. Oh. Yeah, this is the control station, please. Okay, you say you have everything needed, then let's build it. But, um, now, I have a nasty, nasty feeling that there's blocks underneath here built somewhere in the voxel, in the voxels. Like, I, just something feels like it's been built and it shouldn't have been. I can't see anything here, but it's, it's fine. I'll deal with that right now. It's, well, not with a spare box so much, but yeah, actually, we may, actually. We'll, we'll see, right? We need a new hotbar, and I would like to go and, yeah, like so. I, I want to be able, what I'm doing, and then I want to be able to see what I'm doing, I mean, and then I need, which block is it? The projector, are these alphabetical, I wonder? Yes, they are, sort of, I think. Um, so from that projector, I would like um, I think we're going to start with pitch your roll first. Okay, this is ridiculous. So we're going to do the thing and make it a little bit easier to find it. Uh, pitch increase, then your decrease, your increase. Um, Roll decrease and roll increase. Okay, and then we're going to use the other hot bar to say I would like to decrease. Where are we going to, where are we going to start? Um, decrease horizontal, I would say. Um, up, down, left, right. And then we could do the forward offset. Well, well let's start with that horizontal offset and then do the vertical offset so I was just trying to visualize it in my head again how I would want to lay this out if that makes sense so let's no, let's see what happens when we push buttons um, 
that's actually slightly better. Um, no. Um, yes. That's already sort of, you know, going in the right direction. Um, and then what I would really like to do... Just come up. Went down, I think, and then... Over. And then do the forward thing, was that? Five and six. This doesn't seem quite aligned yet. Although, maybe. Let, let's let's have a look at it. Well, that looks good, actually. Like, this looks... I may want to go one higher. Just so it's not... It so, what we're going to do... Yeah, we're going to bring it one higher. On that axis. And I, I can't remember if it's... Nope. Yeah. I think that... Oh, wrong button. Yeah, I like that a little bit more. Um, and then the way... <clears throat> oh, see? I knew there was stuff built. Knew it. And then the way you basically start is um, you attach any sort of block to somewhere where you want to build the ship, right? So, and we can look at, you know, this is the alignment where the ship's going to be built, obviously, once it's fully built and up, running, and, hmm, nope, well, no, 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 I want to face in, like, so I had designed it, actually, let me go and change that, it's not that, Nope. It's designed with a cockpit at this end, so that's fine. Alright, and then we're just gonna bring it... Oh, that's fine. That was fine. Just bring it back over this way. Oh, for goodness sakes. What are we with me in alt space? I think I need one more, and then just bring it back. I think that's why it may have not been aligning correctly. Like in my... Yeah, that's, this is what I would want it to be like. Yes, yes. So this is the ugly duckling and the only thing it's missing is its landing legs. Because they are attached to pistons, they are a separate grid. And so building um, projectors and build repair will only well, the, the projector will only project a singular grid, no subgrids, um, and so built and repair doesn't know what to do with it. But other than that, I'm quite happy to even go here and say, hey, a group of BNR, and just, no, wrong bar, um, on the first half bar, right? and I can just say on off. Not, not yet. I, I feel not quite brave enough yet. I feel I want to triple check everything before we start. But as I say, what we really need to start, because right now there's nothing really for the projector to say, okay, we have a block that, is, that we are attached to in this grid that we can sort of build from. It, it, it can't just build in the air. You need to give it a, a solid reference. So what I like to do, and many others, just bring out a few blocks when you have steel plate, you know, the usual. And now here's the big question. Yes, we do actually have steel plate. Well, one does never cease. <laughs> okay, cool. Um, and now I can go and say, hey, bring this up. And in this case, it's actually fairly straightforward because the next block following, you can see that already, it's sort of already marking the, the fact that it got other blocks there. Now I don't know, does it need to be, no wait, this is all small grid, so this is perfect. Right, it's got a block, you can see it, more highlighted if you will. Uh, the projection says, oh wait, there is something that you could actually now take a welder and build from, and now all of a sudden there's more blocks. 
And this is exactly how this works. Right? And all we're going to do, just for my own sanity, I'm going to wealth these up. Right? That one too. But I would like to take that one down again. Back to this. Right? And then build the repairs literally ready. It just build us the whole structure. It doesn't even need to be on because it is... Yeah, I know space engineers can be weird that way, but it's fully attached through this column of blocks. So unless uh, until we chop that, this grid won't even be disconnected. You know, it won't even be independent, as it were. Um, now I don't know. Am I brave enough? Am I ready enough for this? Are we? Yeah, let's go. Yeah. Now, I hope I've done everything correct. And it looks like now I've tested the test that this guy rolled him full and yeah I know he's got a weird kind of design but it'll allow us to just get resources quite high. But now all it takes is just patience and more resources. Um I feel like this happened, but I just knew from last time when I'd done the run I think I needed so, we're just going to do it. Eh. Okay, let's go. Maybe make that a little bit faster. I just... Is that a... Wait, this is a control panel, is it not? It's not for just for the sensor. I could also talk to the hangar doors. Oh, wait, they don't have any speed? Oh, they don't have any speed. Okay, I actually thought they did. But it must be the other ones I was thinking about then. You know, I was playing about two or three episodes ago, I was playing with those blocks, but... No, okay, fine. Let's go. And I, I, I'm really trying to get this mining rig running as soon as we can. That's why I'm doing another manual run right now. Because this fourth and back where we're just hand mining is getting on my nerves to be quite honest. Um, and I just feel we're gonna need a lot more magnesium as well for ammo, you know, things like that. We're gonna need a lot of steel for the amount of armored blocks that I've got planned for the decoys. And just, yeah. I've got my work cut out for me and I'm trying to make sure we're using the little time we have left without, you know, a start interfering. I'm trying to use that time as well as I can. And there's that mine that I would like and we're gonna just go and let me see if I can drive just close up and just do this thing. Yeah, I'll do me. Right, bam, come here. And then I noticed it was right behind me. Whee! Careful. And... Yeah, let's just, you know, the usual. I think all in this was literally the m most needed resource even for the miner sh mining ship, so... Because I have got still cobalt in the base, um, we've still got silicon and nickel and all that. Um, so we've got all that good stuff still, I'm thinking plenty of. It's just really, we're, we're chewing through iron, like, it's almost as bad as green circuits in Factorial. Almost. No, um, yeah, no, I would say almost as bad, like, green circuits are worse. <laughs> Missed my hole, yet again. <laughs> uh, so... What? 
You guys heard that too. Ah, Sam Tarsus, no, no problem. Welcome back. Um, I heard the block being built for no reason. But okay, I'm just gonna ignore that. Uh, hello, six point. Oh, they're moving away. Okay. So yeah, so it's there. Hello. That's gonna be interesting as of now. Like, our life literally just got more interesting. You know, it's it's fine that he's somewhere on the horizon and he's sort of moving away, but it's a thing we absolutely have to be aware of uh, of now. Whereas, could not be deposited. Well, let's just go and pick up the rest of it. I thought I had stones lying here, but not. I mean, not stones like rocks from uh, of iron. Right, this'll do. Right, um, build up our inventories to the hilt. And I know I took components with me that I really shouldn't have, but you know, them's the breaks. And yeah, I know two components. Don't care. Did you check out stone for me? I hope you did. Like, let's check that. Like, I, I better not see any plank and stone. Oh, fuck. Uh, okay, can I just... Oh, uh, wait. Uh, yeah, so you need to be a little bit careful when you don't go and drop blocks out of your cockpit because they're lying right in front of your cockpit. Like, hello. And so you, that can damage your grid. I need to be a little bit... Come on. No, don't, don't follow me, you stupid rock. <coughs> oh, for goodness sakes, now we're playing football with it. Oh, sorry, Tarsus. Soccer. Yeah, I don't know. It could have been my building building repair. Like we we have one on board, but that was weird. But I'm just going to ignore it, and then maybe assert is trying to build a base. Oh, well, I thought okay, it's only big trees that can be. A bit. Yeah, see, it's still lurking about there. Um. And we're back at base, and you know, I, I, I absolutely love this part where you just. Hello, base! Yeah, thank you, Tarsus. Y you know, one of the few Americans that will absolutely agree with me on this. You, you play it with your foot, it's, it's, it's football. It's not soccer, it's football. You know, and, and yeah, if you want to uh, and call American football just football as an American, that's fine too for me. But I feel like in, in a worldwide context, we, we, we should all be speaking that same language and when we're kicking a ball with a foot, then it is, of course, football because you play handball with your yeah, hand. You know, like, it's sort of in the name. <laughs> and, and please, this is not a, a cultural dig here, no, by no means. I, I just feel like we're, we're sometimes so stuck on these different wordings and we'll actually talk about the same concepts. And then when you Think about, like, football. Like, why make it complicated? Why make another word? We've already got a thing that really describes the whole concept. <laughs> um, but, you know, uh, that's just me ranting. Never mind me. I love the fact that this guy is... Oh my goodness, look at this. We've already got our first drills coming together here. Um, you know, cockpits there. We've got cargo containers coming. Everything's starting to be coming together. I love that. Nice. Now... I can cut 
this connection. I well, I don't, I don't want to exactly cut it, but change it. And I just don't know if I want to go in this direction with a decoy or possibly even just this here way, just out into the open field, if that makes sense. Because I, I know we have a thing right here. We, we have a we have access right here that I could steal and change, you know, and make it a T junction and just bring it out. I think it would be literally this guy here. So, I mean, and then, oh, empty block. No, 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 we can't leave that. Because again, you know, remember this, this is double walling. We're trying to have a lot of integrity here. Um, I can certainly... Still there. Just that Spotify is not showing it. Well, good for you, Spotify. Um, so as I was saying, I think what I'm gonna do is get the ingredients quickly together. Oh ingredients, I say uh, components for a T junction. Just because if I have a T junction, you know, already built in my inventory, I can place it and we won't cut the gatling off for too long. Um, so, let me, sorry, I'm, I'm a little bit disorganized at the moment, uh, no, that's not, I would like the piping, or just do a junction, I suppose, because we're gonna need something there anyway, so, uh, no, no, uh, I've changed my mind on that particular idea, I'm gonna do something different there, but that's fine, so, yeah, one of you, Have everything now, from what I can see. And obviously, we'll get some stuff back from that curve junction as well. Uh, now, um, good grief! I hate OBS sometimes so much. My whole chat's gone, gone disappear. Uh, two seconds guys, I need to go and fix that. Well, we call it rugby with padding lovingly over here in the UK. <laughs> uh, so, let's see here. Yes, and then straight away, straight into that. Is that our picky junction? Yes. Like so? Does that make sense? Yeah, and then I can come out, come out, uh, can come out with the rest of that. You know, um, this, yeah, and then I can bring it out. And so, how many blocks away do we want to be? That, that's really the big question here. Uh, it's it's. For me, it's now a toss-up between, you know, the, the sort of cost involved, obviously, as well here. Not curve, just a reinforced conveyor tube. See where it is. Like so, and then so. Yeah, and then just bring it out, I suppose. Just bring it out a wee bit. Um, no, no, don't like it. No, I'll take that one off too, sorry. Uh, I would rather, I, I think, and I hope I can pull this off without having to change voxels. Uh, do a curved, pointed. Just making sure that, that seems wrong.
Yes, bring it down. But now the question is, can we? We not. We're gonna have to do a little. But again, them's the brakes. So attach that there. I'd like to see it from this side again, I think. <sighs> yeah, we're just gonna have to guesstimate. Oh yeah, that, that looks about right actually. Right. Yes, and then back to the just normal reinforced conveyor tubes, are we? Yeah. along right. oh, how many blocks away this however many I've not counted blocks yeah, I feel that seems uh So yeah, Tarasus, last time when I were on Discord, um, I think this was the group that actually spawned near me and then I just went up with the jetpack and just poked at them, just flew past and came back and we were just testing out defenses. Uh, so yeah, <laughs> that's where that down damage came from on that chat by the way. So it, it was literally a group like this, about three or four of them, and I just went up, Wee! but I'm, I'm not going to do that now, no, 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 no. Gonna put the bear. Uh, now we need another projector. That's just gonna be what it is, right? Um, and in this case, we're gonna leave it large grid right? because we're gonna put a large grid building out here. Uh, well, just put in as much as we can. <clears throat> gonna try and build up as much as I can from here. You know, but it's making its way along, which is always nice to see. Um, and then we're gonna have to do a thing just because otherwise it will drive me absolutely bonkers. Oh, look at this, I love it. Um, you, can we please name you uh, Minor Arf? Oh, what did I do there? Projector minor, I suppose. Okay, does that make sense? And then I can go and tell this to be a decoy north. Um, yeah, I, I feel that's what we want to do with that. Is that your steel tubes? You want a bit of help? There you go. Can we please now rename you? Project. Charge decoy north. Right. I think we're going to need a control seat again and just to get this aligned properly. Um, did I leave it in my? Yes, I did. And yeah, that, that seems appropriate. Oh, interior plate, really? Let me through, thank you. Can I withdraw that and that? And that, that, that seems. Yeah, there we go. Okay, oh, we'll just take the actual. We'll take a small one. Whip. Take the servant's exit. Uh, so, yeah, I would just place it right there. I would say just plonk it right there. Whip. Um, no, wrong drill. Just do this. Okay, and then we're going to sit down and we're going to do a similar setup again. Where first, we're going to have to tell build and repair. Just, just go to no. Just, right? That's, that's our first time. We need to turn build and repair off. 
And of course it is dark. Um, okay, it is a thing. I, I will just have to deal with it by actually providing a little bit of light. I don't need much for that because the thing itself has lights. Right, so it's not... Well, but yeah, just plonk it there. I don't care. We just build this thing up ourselves. Oh, that's great. Now, can I access it? No. Well, we can. We, we can. We can. Build vision is awesome for that. Uh, so we want the radius. Yeah, this is the only thing. It's Oh, you can do a shift. Mouse wheel goes quicker. And that's nice. Confirm that. Um, set the fall off to 2.0. Uh, intensity can just go all the way up and I would like to change the color of the blue value I think oh, guys I'm colorblind so forgive me if I do get these things wrong sometimes um, but notice what I would like is that gonna be enough yeah it's got to be enough for us, for us to make out what we're actually doing. Right, if I do this right, it should be fine. So, now we're going to go into control panel, right, and then we know we have a projector here for the decoy north. And all we need to do is grab that blueprint, the novice decoy. Okay, and so the way these are intended to be, they have wind power for themselves. Um, it is just the backup power solution. I, I, I would just like to have always a, a backup power whenever I build a decoy and maybe things go wrong at the main base, that there's still power coming in somewhere, right? It's sort of, or even if the connection from, to the grid gets shot, uh, shot up, basically, you still have power provided to this little grid. You know, it, I felt that was the thing to do. So I'm going to place it in there. Um, okay, so Tarsus, uh, let me check. Can we just go in and... Hopefully I've designed this correctly. Uh, yeah, there's that um, hinge uh, rigging talk. That, that has to be up a bit. Um, no, I've just gone and done a thing. I swear I have. Uh, yeah, here we go. Here we go. Let's let's break a bit more. So something went terribly, terribly wrong when I've done that. I don't, I don't know what it is yet, but it's, it's fine. I'm going to figure it out, right? So let's... The lower limit is... What is... What are you doing, you stupid thing? Why is it not just zero, zero? I'm like, going to just do that. Yeah. Go and lock that in. Uh, I don't want it to go anywhere. It's... Hinge lock, yes, please. Share an tensor? Uh, I don't know. I don't think so. I, I don't feel like I would want that in this case. Uh, now, did we break the projector? What did we do? We've done some. Or did we just turn the projector off? I... All the projectors on. But something has gone wrong with me powering it off. Oh, I'll tell you what it is. I've just turned the whole damn grid off, didn't I? If I'm not mistaken. Yep.
So that is a lesson to learn. Don't just hit Y when you have grids connected by this. So how do I turn then only this guy off? I'm sure there must be a was it a cockpit block a cockpit command for that possibly. If I can find something right there. Park on off main cockpit. I feel like main cockpit on off is the thing. That's the way to turn this grid off. I, I, I nope. That's not it. So how then? Like, what is... Okay. Um, do it slightly differently. We're gonna go and set up a few bars quickly. Um... Oops. Now I should have one for just the forward facing thrusters, right? That's that part. Then I'll just try a second. I mean hanger doors. Oh you show me the whole grid again. Uh just thrusters please. Just give me all my thrusters that you have just Okay, what's, what's, with, what's with these? What's, what's going on here? Stop, thrusters. There's a few thrusters in here that are... Uh, what am I... Why is nothing working the way I want it? I'm not thinking about things. Um, so... Is that the only two thrusters I've associated with that? That doesn't seem right. Like, that doesn't... Oh, because... Okay, it's facing... I don't mean upwards facing. Yeah, no, okay, so that's the only stop ones. But half the stuff's not even built, but so how can I... Turn this grid off without turning the rest of the grid off. Oh, this game. Oh, right, okay, okay, okay. So, um, Tarsus to the rescue, thank goodness. Uh, there, there is a thing. G, we're going to take that away, remove that from the tool, uh, toolbar. Um, and then, what I would like to do is get all the batteries that are on this grid. Uh, here's another thing. Um, I don't see medium cargo container. The uh, thrusters. Did I only put two smalls on here? Like, what on earth have I done? Like that. That that can't be. Surely I've put. Oh, they're not built yet. So, let's see, what if we find all batteries that we can find attached? See, this is my problem now, because I didn't do this properly when I designed the rover, uh, minor. Um, so, as far as I understand, anything that's white is this grid that I'm sitting in. Right? And according to that, I only have two batteries, two spots. So I just turn them off. And the thing is still powered. Okay, there's two warfare batteries that's powered as well. Oh, well, that's built, I mean. Um, and he's still doing the thing. Okay, show me all thrusters. No, yes. Just do that. Just, right? 
that should stop the drain for now. And I need to disconnect the grid and then clean it up a little bit. Uh, now comes this slight part, and this should be straightforward enough. Um, I think that was about right. And then I need... what do I need here? Uh, block... Uh, projector. That's what I was looking for. And then this is the... no, decoy north. And again, I'm gonna start with... increase... Uh, no, decrease rope, no, uh, decrease pitch. Increase pitch. In decrease yaw, increase the yaw, and then the same for the roll, decrease and increase, and then on the next hotbar we'll do the offsets. Decrease, increase, decrease, increase, and forward offset. Okay, um, now I need to just... Cat, you're not getting a choice in the matter, I'm building it this way. I'm just telling you now, right right now, cat. I don't care. I'm building it this way. No, you can complain all you want. I know. Come over. Is this right on that? Yeah, yeah. It seems to be perfect. And there we go. Right. This is basically the whole thing. Um, before we turn on build and repair, I can just sort of show you because we've sort of got access. Well, we've got conveyor access here, going all the way through to, you know, another one of our little Gatling boys, um, thinking of ramping this up massively, actually, in the next iteration of this blueprint. What I would like to do is have this as a connector, and then basically have that, that face, that face, and that face all just teaming with the, the Gatlings, you know, that, that seems just to be sort of the next step. To ramp that up but around this I've basically shaped just heavy armor blocks just to protect the Gatling really um, done the same here these are heavy armor blocks and slopes to sort of protect you know the machinery underneath but we have attached here a basic refinery we, we, we have an enhanced welder and we've sort of everything here that it would need to self-sustain um, and uh, with a build and repair as well and that's sort of really the whole point the, the one thing I have forgot to put on here is a blueprint of itself but again you know it's for the next iteration um, I'm still learning this stuff and I was actually just quite glad to get something like this running so now we should be good to just say F you know uh, I mean 9 to enable build and repair Yeah, all animals are like that, Tarsus. You know, they always want to get involved. You're like, no, I'm, I'm doing it this way. Just bug it off. <laughs> um, but yeah, and, and, and so we're starting to build here. Which is, you know, I suppose it's fine with me, but, but we can probably... There's another thing you can do. You can say, hey, dear projection. Uh, nope, G menu, right? Dear projector for the decoy, say. And then... Toggle block on off, boom. And we can say, uh, no, at the moment we, we don't actually want that. So built and repair doesn't actually know there's, there's a job going on here. Right, it's built a few blocks and even if they were half built, it would complete them. Um, but other than that, I, I would like to get the miner really done. Like, we're getting there, we're getting there, it's, but it's not. Okay, so what, what combat face, what did I miss? Someone trying to attack me? I'm just gonna ho hope and assume that I'm fine and need this ball up with me. Um, but now I would like to take use uh, of this. Uh, don't need it. Because um, the blueprint itself has got many lights on it. Well, not many lights, but enough lights to actually make it, you know, so obvious that's where the thing is. All hail clang! Clang! <laughs> oh! Oh, just about. Um, but you know, this is this is coming together. Let's look at our next little thing. And this is, this is going to be a grinder pit. That's sort of what I've turned it into. It's, it's 
or pit of doom and i really didn't think that through because i had a connector right there that can probably just take along just follow this 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 row here um and then just attach a ton of grinder blocks down here um shall we shall we go and do that let's let's go and lay that maybe out and pipes or conveyors i feel i want to do this on conveyors but like yeah these guys right just i feel like because this is a bit of a bit more of an industrial process so the, the grinding part you know i feel like yeah let's um, and I'm just gonna come down, actually, with that. Oh. Alright, like so. What do we need to come to on? Oh. Eh, looks like. Okay. Should I just follow that outline? That's why you've said it the first time, Sebastian. Um, nope. That guy, boom. Then I can bring it down. And then we can hopefully just follow it along. Uh, come on, don't do this to me. Oh, you've got a husky here. Yeah? They're not just talkative, they're also very active. Yeah, you hear my wife probably in the background? Yeah, she wants one. Um, I, I just have to manipulate voxels here. This is... That might do. Let me see. And I place that. Yeah, that will do. And then bring it down just. Quick nonchalantly. And then I think we're gonna come one more. If I can. Uh, maybe. Maybe. Might need to do a bit of. Eek. Did I do the thing? Yeah, I did the thing. It's fine. Oh, I've done the right thing here. I've really done the thing. That needs welded up, and that needs welded up, and that needs welded up. And I think, by the way, we have exhausted resources. I, I just, I just have a feeling. Also, get. Go on, get. We don't want you. Um. So another. Pipe, yes, but now I would like a curved one. Uh, I don't know which way it's facing. Can we determine somehow, just by rotation, where the thing is? Nah, nah, nah. I'm gonna have to do a little bit more of the... I really didn't want to do all that, but it, it's fine. Um, probably should have just left it on this level. No, actually that's fine because it's gonna come. It's gonna come popping up. So I've uh, done the right thing here. Uh, three and uh, that away. No, that away. Right, let me come up. Um, get get. Just get all rid of all this. I, I don't want use no more. Why are you no grindy that stuff? Okay, I, I don't even care. So I know we should be... Mm, just need access. I just need... Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So if I don't... If, if I remember correctly... Just chat is going mental again. No, not no clone, no new clone yet. We've survived so far. <laughs> um, so let me. I don't think I've placed this on a hotbar yet. No, I have not. So what was it? A this is a block tool, right? And so let's let's look at these. It's a grind that I want. Uh, I would like, anyways, right? So let's go and add that. And so the way they've, these guys work, they have got inputs on three sides, if I remember correctly. Yes. So what you can do is essentially, and I should have brought it up one more, two seconds. Uh, bring it 
like so. Like uh, no. That, uh, that was it. Like bring it up basically. And then we're going to put the grinder. Right on top. Okay. Um, thusly. Okay. Um, and I may need to change the bottom. I may need to put... Um, okay, so didn't quite finish that thought. That can go for now, because what we really need is a whole row of these guys. I need to sort of have the T-junction row coming through here. Right, so what we'll do is just make a little four block wide voxel crater, if you will. I'm wondering... Um, Probably one more, just to sort of square it up a little bit there. And my thinking is, if I do like, where is it? Uh, uh, pay job. Yeah. Yeah, but but so you know, a whole just row of these guys. And it's, it's because of that block, isn't it? Let me guess, is it? Yeah, it, it is. So we're going to have to just get rid of these. Um, yeah, come on. Just, I need access here. Right, and I'm just going to bring it through here. Oh, that was completely off filter, but it's fine. Bring it out like so, right? Just for now. Just bear with me. And then the idea is essentially that you would go and put one down right there. Like so, I think. Or do, do we need one? I, I, I want to say I want to have maybe one block distance. Just so we're not grinding our own grid, if that makes sense, right? But like basically one here one here all the way along and then you can just bring this out right that's that's sort of the impression or the idea that i'm going for there and yeah i know you're gonna be busy and, and and trying to put stuff together and we don't have enough resources but mostly and i'm, I'm sure tarsus is going to call it right now if, if i go and look for the element he's, he's going to call it no doubt we are going to look well it's not too bad but I think the actual iron situation is atrocious. What else? Do we need everything? Hmm. How far along are we with this? Like, what is what's the actual still missing? Yeah, I see it's, it's missing like steel tubes and uh, it's all sorts of it. So yeah, we're gonna have to do it the the thing. Uh, because there's never enough other stuff, and I have not made a big enough rover for that. But it's fine. You know, this is why we're doing the mining ship. I mean, let, let, let me go. And why do I feel you still have... Six? We weren't even connected. Can someone please explain to me why I, not did, why I didn't do that? Like, seriously, why why I wouldn't just go and do this properly? Because of course it's not going to have enough resources. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Tarsus, there's no, no reason to be nice. It's always a lack of iron, and, and you always call it. Um, but I think we're going to have to do the run anyways. Like, just because. And just because Tarsus was nice too, I'm, I'm not going to do it. Voluntarily. Um, I'm, I'm imagining we are empty, yes. No, still not. No, I mean, like, only my grid. How, how do you do that again? There was a... Yeah. Um, oh, okay, I, I, I forgot about this stuff. I, I did forget, genuinely, about... All of this. Can, why are we... We, we shouldn't be full. You, you should be able to... Six. 
somewhere in here there's this component stuck. I swear you they are stuck in there somewhere. Um we should be able to literally pull them right through here. Um they're not connected, just all inventories. And there is um Let's see. That's a survival kit, don't care. Small computer sorter, just nope. Just uh yeah, these this guy. Like why are you acting like I can't pass items through? I would like to understand. Oh, it's right there! Everything is right there. Did I... I mean, the connector was doing this thing. Oh, for goodness sake, smash it. Wrong button. But, yeah, basically, I have a whole... bunch of stuff, I think, in my inventory that I just... can't get a hold of at the moment, but let's do this. Right, let's come out. Um... You won't put your handbrake on. I, this should work. Like, surely I should be able to just... Yeah. Boom, there we go. See? I knew there was a way. Where there's a will, there's a way. Where there's a space engine here, there's multiple ways. Um, let's go. Yeah, see, it's not just the P button that's dangerous, it's the Y button is dangerous too. I'm just gonna put it out there. Because, like, so the P button for parking, and then, yeah, it's supposed to have been fixed, but I, I will never trust it. Because, you know, you can disconnect whole grids. I've seen it happen, and whole, whole ships just dropping because you hit the P button. Um, and I feel like the Y button is sort of becoming my meme at the moment in that regard. But I'm like, hmm, okay, maybe I should not be pushing that. But no, this is. I'm I'm happy though with the progress we've made so far. Um, I I just had to take a bit of time off over the weekend to just sort of recharge a bit and get ideas and. You know, sometimes there can be such a thing as too much of a good thing. So yeah, that's why there wasn't much progress over the weekend. I know I had promised a bit more builds, but um, I think actually we're in a good position. Well, what? About one and a half hours in, the miner is pretty much built. We've got the decoy ready to go. Um, we've not been attacked by a cert yet. It's just knock wood. And, you know, we seem to be in a fairly stable-ish position. I'm quite happy with that. And, yeah, I know we haven't even considered space travel yet. But, hey, let, let's get ourselves a little bit secure first. Um, then we're gonna move the base. We're gonna go to like either Ice Lake or you know something like that. Something where I can get ridiculous amounts of hydrogen um, for the sole purpose of obviously um, f f fueling the thrusters for our future escapades. Um, but also I want to be a bit closer to other resources and then just have a little maybe my mining complex or something you know. But we, we can't be staying here forever. Um, this spot is actually treated us nicely. It's treated us well. We've had rarely any inter, uh, you know, interruptions by enemies, anything like that. And we've, we've had all the most important resources fairly close. But I, I feel like it's time to move on. Um, but I would probably keep this base sort of running and active as a backup spawn. You know, leave basically the antennas completely powered down, things like that, just as invisible as possible on the horizon, and then just, yeah, let it be a backup in case we really make, must, uh, mess up our first base, we're certain. Because there will come a time, I have no doubt, where I'm going to get too, where am I, um, too confident, and I will poke up. <laughs> and I will poke the bear a little bit too hard and then and, and half the base is going to get destroyed and I would like 
to think that we were going to have some sort of backup close by, if that makes sense. Well, not close by, but, you know, somewhere where we still have the basic amenities ready and just get us going again if we needed to. Now, even if at that stage we said, okay, we've got a different ship blueprint entirely and we're going to go away from the miner, um, well, yeah, so be it, but I can still spawn up in this base and sort of get something running again. Oh, I did play different games, Tarsus, don't worry. <laughs> um, it's all part of the sort of recharge progress, and you just look at maybe different games or just other YouTube videos. Um, and then because it's a weekend, I try and spend time with the family as well. Um, but yeah, as I say, like, sometimes I had I felt a little bit too much of this. And I've done it with other games before. Um, so I'm glad I actually recognised the signs fairly early this time and didn't play myself to death. So it's it's good to still have this joy in the game and actually look forward to a stream. You're like, oh yeah, what can I build now? Ooh, I like this idea. <laughs> um, but if I don't take make that time for myself, um, I would just keep going and all of a sudden... There it was again! It's the weirdest thing. Every time I'm near that entrance, it's like there's a block being built. Okay, and we're pretty much full. Do we have loose stone flying about? If so, I'll pick it up. Oh yeah, gravity is a thing. Uh, let's have a look. Well, let's just... Uh, any stone on us? No, there's not. That's that's a good change. It makes a change and it's a good change. I like it. Let's go. Uh, where's the Rovario? Um, well, yeah, handbrake and let's go. Well, I like this little rover. Like, we're full to the hilt. Was that about 50 tons of iron on us? And yeah, it's still moving quite rapid. It's good. Just give me two good seconds, guys. I'm just checking something on. Change my headset over. So I'm um, I'm still here. I'm just checking. Um, where is it? Dink, 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 dink. There. Change to my buds pro. No, dear phone. I don't want you to connect to that. And can we turn up the volume a little bit, please? Yeah, that seems fine to me. Uh, that's just my own volume. That's not to do with the game. Um, oh, back in the rover, and off we go. Yeah, it's it's really got me puzzled that one. Um, so much so that I'm gonna probably take the miner as soon as it's ready. I'm gonna take the miner over there and just excavate the whole grid there. You know that that whole block of voxels and see what's going on. Because that is just every time I'm near that entrance, it's, and it's just near the iron. I've never heard it anywhere else, just, you know, none of my other bases do it, or oh, no, not other, other bases, uh, other mines do it. Handbrake, handbrake, handbrake! Oh, Well, break, I, but that was a little bit more scary. Oh, I think I know what that is. So... I think these suspensions have different strengths. So that's the power. That's the friction steering angle. Um, okay, I, I, I thought there may have been a braking power and a like propulsion power, like two different. But no, it's not. So this is fine then. Uh, 
I think I've no okay well, we're fine uh, we're locked in and we can go and no I did not I had a feeling actually I did damage that from that connector that's the word I'm look I was looking for good I can English English I, I I'm sure I can sometimes and uh, no don't need the lights on uh, this is fine I would like to see and I have a feeling this may actually be pretty much done like this looks to me like it's complete all right but now I need to do go and turn on all these thrusters again like the ones that I've switched off, because otherwise the ship, the ship will just go in all sorts of directions. Um, okay, this is fine. And then I can now turn them on for now. Okay, and I would expect this ship to be able to hold station right there. And this is basically the true test of your design. Uh. Eek. Did I forget to switch them on? Because that was an awfully heavy drop. Oh yeah, we forgot another thing. Uh, batteries. So yeah, if the battery would have been on, then it would have been fine. And I have a feeling we may need to do a bit of... What do you call it? Um, welding up to get that fixed. I'm actually surprised, like, I fully expected there to be some damage after that. That was ugly. But I can, I can take off. Um, and I just wanted access here. Thing. No, apparently everything's intact. Well, that makes a change. But there we go, ladies and gentlemen. That is the ugly duckling. And yes, it is ugly and it, it is ungainly. But let me see. We should be able to actually show off its capabilities. Right, and I'm just going to go and forget the fact that I've put no lights on this. That's that's the first thing I'm going to do, apparently. Yes, that's exactly the first thing I've, I was I have done. But that, that's fine. Let's go and quickly remedy that. And we're going to just need a pair of spotlights there. And there goes my chat window yet again. Uh, no, it's small grid, actually. One, two, let's go. I would just like to be able to see where we are drilling and going. Like so, and so, and then just go and weld that together. And there's a few features this ship doesn't have yet. Like, I'll, I'll not lie, it, um... Stop thrusters are on at the moment. Um, so basically, it's something that I've learned from uh, Tarsus again. Um, what you can do to basically save yourself a lot of fuel in, in coasting is what you can do is your forward facing thrusters, you can put them on a group and disable them when you do your coasting. Right? So I would like to go and demonstrate, but first, give me those spotlights, please. And then I'm going to call them spots, just because. Um, and I think I'm going to try and experiment with something a little bit. Like so, maybe. Yeah, like so. I'm just playing around. Uh, radius, intensity, just all that stuff, all to the max. And uh, no blink. Uh, we have saved that, we're all good, and then we can go and get that group. 
and stick it on the outside toggle block on it. Um, whoop. Wrong button. Um, V. That's what I wanted. Right, and then now we can go and point towards that direction and say, hey, turn those off. Turn the dampness off. Whoa! Dampness on, I mean. And I don't think I've done that quite right. There's, there's a few thrusters still on, I think. Um, but the intention is... Let's see. We can, we, can, we can check that here. So if I go and say stop thrusters... There's them. And I think... You and you and... Did I not name them? Should sure, name them actually like change something in their name, but apparently I did not. So let's go and change that then. Um, no, see, I did. I did do the thing there. Did I do it there? Did I do it there? No. Ah, uh, no, I did not. Nah, so that would help. Gonna add that keyword back there. Second button. Do the same on this top one. I'm sure I forgot it there too. Naming input. Yeah, see, it's not there. And call that stop too. Um, I think that's correct. And now I should be able to go in here, grab this guy, and say go and search everything stop. Oh, apparently that's not a thing. It, Okay, but so if we go and grab the stop thruster group, I'm sure it's the last two ones. Like, yeah, stop backward, stop backward. That's so. Stop thrusters. Control click, control click, save. Um, right. Let Let's try that again. So they're at the moment they're on, and we're gonna go and do some acceleration. Right, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna hit seven, turn them off, and let go. I'm literally not touching the keyboard or anything, and it's just nicely coasting along. Alright, but we want to obviously go mining a bit, so we're going to need the th stop thrusters. So, the reason for that much forward-facing thrust is weight. So, normally what uh, happens to me, at least all the time, and do that investigation now, Tarsus, while we're at it, where is the combined one? It's this one. Right, and we're gonna just excavate this whole lot. Um, let's have a look here. I would, I would like to be not just straight pointed into the ground. I think that's a little bit. But yeah, with this ship, I could actually point straight into the ground and I have enough forward thrust, well, backwards facing thrust actually, uh, to keep me aloft. But let, let's not. Let, Try and get um okay, let's pull tools in. Go have to check uh, uh fix that obviously at some point, but you know, not important right now. And then we're gonna come down a bit with a C button. And let me get a view here. Um <clears throat> and then I'm literally just gonna right click this stuff. Right, we don't want stone. Although there may be mods coming up that where I would want it, but that's a different story. But yeah, we can just go down basically and <clears throat> drill a hole towards where we would want to be. You know, where we know sort of where our cavity is, where our iron is in this case. And I just want all the stone just gone. Just Uh, there we go, this is, you know, this is our iron patch here, surely, and then, did we do the ejector thing? Did I? I, 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 I honestly can't remember if I implemented ejectors on this or not. Uh, yes, I did. Okay, uh, well, one. I, I had plans for sideways two, but I, well, see, I had started the plans just not finished it. 
but that's fine okay we're just gonna deal with it just get in there um and you know the thing we're gonna do we're just gonna go and point at the metal rich rock and we're just gonna let it do the thing Careful and just you want to be gentle with your ship, obviously, not like me. Now ever so often you want to you want to stop, you want to you check your progress, and then well in this case we're full anyways. Um and the other thing that may help. Well, I have no idea if we have yeah, we should have enough clearance. Um But you want to make sure you have enough uh, uh maneuver space. Ooh. Right here. Let me go on a line actually with the horizon here. Oh well, guess what? I don't think I have enough upward thrust. All my thrusters are damaged. Beyond. Uh, Fubard. That could be a thing. Yep. It's one motor, one engine's out. Is that all? Like one thrust or whatever. Um, okay, so we're gonna have to do a quick thing. We're gonna have to do a quick fix here. Um, go and build components. Where is the base? There is space. Um, ooh, just to kill myself there. So yeah, keep carefuling and all. Um, where are we? Right. So where are we? Uh, up here. Cannot withdraw. Why not? We tell like how many motors did we put into production? Like. We use that many? Oh my goodness. No, it's fine. We're just gonna wait until that order is fulfilled if we can. Okay, he says he's done. No, he's not. Put on. Where's my production? There's. Okay. Wait. Right. Go and just make those, please. Right, those assemblers should now kick off and make a whole bunch of motors for me, please. Can, can you just please give me those motors then? I don't, I don't get why it wouldn't give me that. I... Nothing. Yeah, it makes at the moment sense with that inventory management at the moment. But I'll need to check that out in between episodes. Um, somewhere here. There's a big gaping hole and a stranded miner. Yeah, it's fine. You know, this is how you learn in this game. By making mistakes. You know, okay, so how, how, how do we get out of this? What do I need to do? And it could well be that I don't even have enough. Oh no, we, we, we can come, come on. So you want to be careful when you maneuver your mining ship because it is a big beast. Sort of inevitably. Again, I think. Let's try and clean this up a bit. See if we can just right click this away a bit and get a bit more space for the future. But we should be able to come up now and nurse our way back to base. Now it seems like I'm gonna need more thrust in a few directions. Um And then the other thing is probably more gyros. Like, it just seems... Yeah, actually, Tarsus, you're right. We need a new counter. We have something new to ruin. We need a new counter for that. I mean, the stopping force of this thing is absolutely insane, but all the other directions seem to be a little bit... Oh, sluggish maybe. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. 
Here we go. Here we go. I'm gonna crash it. I'm gonna crash it. I'm up. Up. Full pelt. Up. Come on. Come on. Just. Just try and. Can we just nurse you back, please? Holy moly. So I have a lot of downwards thrust, but apparently not anywhere near enough near enough uh, upwards thrust. Because I couldn't even arrest that fall. See, again, again, no, 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 just chill, chill. I would like a camera, I think, there. So I can better align with that. Uh with that connector i think that's it's it's a thing like all the space programs do anyways like when you have two connectors lined up like that there's always a camera allows you to actually please just lock in all that's good and holy yeah there's a few fixes to this blueprint i'm gonna have to make um it's also not properly aligned there yeah there's a few things okay um, but so let's do quickly the thing. Oh, we have a rover counter. Well, now guess what? We're gonna have a new counter. We're gonna have a. Uh, I'm gonna paste duplicate of that. And it is not the rover counter. It is now called the minor counter. Um, that's the name of it. It just doesn't mean I have changed the text of it yet. And also, I would I would probably need to change where it lives, like like so, and then basically just go in it and call it appropriately minor repairs. And yeah, we're up at one already. We know that. So boom, there we go. Um, there we go. Another set of repair numbers. Well, another counter for us. <laughs> um. I mean, let's face it, we've we brought home probably quite a lot, I would hope, anyways. Like iron, if I go and look. Yeah, see, uh, there's still tons of it coming out of the ref uh, the miner. Um, the refinery is working through it. We've got 40k in that. Yeah, yeah, good. See, it was already worth that build. It's not ideal, but you know, the build itself is working, and I'm happy with that fact. Um, I think over long or short, I would like a door through here somewhere, I feel like, and it's probably not going to be just a door, but not at the moment, still not in a place where we can really afford that much heavy plating and, and armor to, yeah, protect the base that well. So let's go and turn the protection back on. Oh, no, 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 no. Are you kidding me? Where are you? 3k. Come on, just ignore me. It's only, it's like... But he's, he's coming right this way. There's no denying that. And here's another mistake I made. Well... Not so much mistake, but something I have to fix right now. Uh, please give me a production thing. Production uh, tools. What can I make as better? Uh, table above. Shoulder fired rocket ordnance. Uh, that's the side I'm not. Okay, we're going to go for the MR20. And what do you take? Uh, mm, what do you mean, not craftable? Excuse me, so, where is the thing? MR20 magazine. Is that just a thing? Right, okay. That's MR50. S10, 30E. Ah, disease. Okay. Uh, make me a few, please. Quite a few. Okay, that's not cheap either. If 
fine. Um, where is my... Please give me that and that. Gonna have to change the quick more a bit. That's gonna be a new habit. Um, character weapons. Yeah, you. You're gonna have to be a thing now. I have never shot my gun in this game. I'll just let you know. Um, is he just went and bypassed us? Come on, what are you doing up there? I was really, really hoping to have one more episode of peace. Well, not peace, but... Yes, Tarsus, you are correct. No more iron mining by hand. Yes, it's an awesome moment. Come on, just, just go away, please. Nah. I think he's a little bit curious about what's going on here. I, I, I feel that is his intention here. Did I? Yes, I, oh, I didn't need to build. I was in a sandbox. Yeah, that's my thing, but just... Can you just try not be an issue? Can you just please... I know... Anything that can be battened down is battened down pretty much. Oh, if clang explodes then we have big, bigger problems anyways because that's going to be a warhead probably right in the in, in our midst you know so <laughs> there is that um okay it's getting a little bit busier and i will be honest it's a little bit scarier i have not played with Space engineers with enemies beforehand. It, this is literally my yes, first. Um, it's not an encounter quite yet, but it feels like it wants to be one. It's like the, the engine closer and closer. And it's like, come on, make up your mind. Do you want to attack? Just come attack. Do we just maybe want to help him out? Make up his mind? Maybe we could do that. And ignore the miner there, and if it's getting damaged, I'm just going to put another projection up from it um, and rebuild it. So, I wonder how that would work. So, no, not KG. We have... Yeah, controller turret. That's what I'm trying to figure out, Tarsus. Exactly that. Um, can I... Okay, so, we, yeah. Give me, give me the big guy, please. I would like control. Is that all I need? Oh, yes. Okay, ah, so this is the aiming bit. It sort of accounts. Ah, it accounts for the movement of the enemy. Come on, you must have felt that. Oh, that was so close too, come on. Okay, so apparently we've only got one round left. That's fine. Like, our inventory management should actually pick that up. Like, there should be... All right. Okay. See, it's already happening. It's already picking up the slack there. Oh, really? That bad a shot? Come on. Yeah, he he moved big time that way. Uh, he's ah, he's right overhead. 
Okay, uh, is it F to just leave, I think? Oh, wait. But there's other ones. Uh, we have more that we can... I don't know. G. Oh, there we go. There we go. Base is starting to... Yeah, they've, they've, they've got them now. I think this is actually a, a perfect ending towards the episode. This, I think this is a perfect... We're hopefully getting to destroy that assert wasp. Unless they've just decided not to bother with us. Do we were just going... Okay, let, let's... I'm going to do a thing quickly. Um, writing myself would help. Uh, I would like to do a thing where I quickly... Uh, yeah, just all of them. And then also this, just this, all of that. Um, then give me the inventory with the bottles, please. Give me one, two, three for now. And then give me those magazines, please, as well. Um, anything else we need? I, I would like these filled, please. Did we... Ah, oh, uh, Needs more ice. Because... Um, our... I forgot a thing. Knew it. Yeah, someone's been soaking our uh, hydrogen away for us. Um, but okay. I'm just going to try and do a thing here. Just. Oh, it's single shot, is it? I know this is absolutely stupid to even attempt this, but why not? Where is he? Oh, I think he's actually coming down. Like, I think he's literally, yeah, he, he's done. Ooh! Nice. And ow, that was... Yes, I, I, I apologize, Lassie. Um, but that was our first kill, and we actually got away with it. Like, I wouldn't say it was clean, but we, we, we got away with it. I like that. And Tarsus again, thanks for your tips there. Um, I got that out, that was great. And yeah, I'm going to have to heal myself because, you know, I've done a me. At least we haven't increased the counter. We've only increased one counter because it's a new counter. I, I don't count that. It's it's a new counter. It's it, it's supposed to be increased. <laughs> um, but yeah, you can hear obviously built repair is doing its thing. You know, uh, any damage that may have been done out there is very much of it. Because this thing didn't even really try. Um, but you know, the rest should be going into production for this stuff here. Um, and now I've... Can we... This would be the greatest thing if we could help him out. Um, like if we can get... If we could get this welded up. Because the minute that we've got that built and repair active, like... Um, what else is missing? Is it just this? Oh, there's not even any current going through that, so it's literally just connected sideways that way. Okay, cool. I wonder, can we just say a uh, steel plane? Okay, and conveyor. Oh, conveyors don't do that, don't do they? Uh, conveyors themselves don't let you uh, uh, allow you access for some reason. It has to be a container for some reason. I, I find that weird, but it, it's what it is. Oh, thanks, Tarsus. Uh, as I say, for me, that was kind of a big moment. Like, first time dealing with certain, you know, actually walking away from it. That, that, that actually surprised me. I was fully expecting to die multiple times. Um, but other than that, I really like what progress we've made. You know, we're getting really close on having this thing pretty much getting together. Yeah, you can start the... You can see the heavy plate, heavy armor 
plates coming together and sort of protecting the structure underneath, you know, which is obviously here the cargo conveyors. Um, but yeah, it's it's really just a matter of now getting probably the miner back out uh, a few times, getting more resources. I don't even know what the situation is here, so let's probably need two more thrusters each side for just upwards. Um, everything else seemed fine actually to me. And I may be helped with just small ones. I, I don't know yet. Um, but inventory says empty. But this is pretty much for today. It is the old wrapping up point. I uh, would like to thank everyone for watching, for hanging around, and Tarsus in this case for, you know, all the suggestions I keep getting from him. They're really appreciated. They really help me out. Um... And other than that, if you've got questions, hey, come drop in our Discord. We're a friendly little bunch and we're very chill and relaxed and there's no pressure here. And yeah, we, we share similar games, we share similar philosophies, so you can jump in there. Otherwise, you leave a comment down in the YouTubes, you know, in the YouTube doobly-doo. You can do that too. And yeah, that'll be pretty much it. Thanks again and peace out.